If you're British, you'll all I have to do is say Oasis 90s. Well, if you, actually, I, I should start that again. If you're British and of a certain age, and I'd say maybe uh, mid 30s to late 40s, and I'm 43, so I'm right in the middle of that particular age band. But if you're British and of a certain age, all I need to do is say Oasis, and generally speaking, you've got a whole bunch of cultural background and history uh, just sort of pouring into your brain. Um, but if you're not British, uh, and if you're not of a certain age, if you're younger uh, or older, uh, you might not appreciate what Oasis meant uh, the band Oasis, but Oasis were a huge band in the late 90s and early 2000s uh, when I was at university. I was at university from 94 to 98 and uh, in that time Oasis dropped two iconic massive albums, one called Definitely Maybe and the, I hope I've been able to drop this behind me here and the other one called What's the Story Morning Glory uh, and they were enormous. Uh, Definitely Maybe was a massive sort of cult underground hit that kind of came into the mainstream and then they followed that up with the much more polished and sort of uh, produced and um, I don't know what the right word is for it, but it was a, a more complete album in What's the Story, Morning Glory. And they're both equally good. You know what I mean? That sort of grungy, underground, sort of unpolished, raw, definitely maybe, and the sort of the more smooth and streamlined uh, What's the Story, Morning Glory are both equally good and spawn some real classic um, songs. And I think I'm right in saying that definitely the maybe came out in like 94, 95, and What's the Story, Morning Glory, I think it was 96. Um, so you've got that, that was, I was at university in 94 and 98, so that's right in my wheelhouse. And it spawned a whole sort of uh, era in the UK called Cool Britannia instead of Rule Britannia. So, um, and why am I babbling on about Oasis and why am I babbling on uh, about my past uh, and what Oasis means to me? It is because Adidas are bringing out a collaboration with the lead singer of Oasis, uh, Liam Gallagher, and it's called the Adidas Special LG SPZL Liam Gallagher. This is the Tokyo Butter 23 Sneaker Channel. Tokyo Butter 23 Sneaker Channel. There's Mainichi, Absuruno de Mainichi Mitikurasai. And every single day, I'm dropping new content from Tokyo, Japan about upcoming sneaker releases, sneaker news, and sneaker reviews. And today, I'm really happy to bring you uh, an Adidas Spezial, Spezial with a Z, or a Z if you're in America, um, uh, which is a collaboration with uh, Liam Gallagher. Um, and like I said at the start of this video, Oasis has a, a real cultural um, sort of place of importance for people of my age from the UK. Uh, and if you're from America or if you're not from the UK or if you're from other places, for example, Australia, I'd be interested to see uh, whether or not you have that same cultural connection to Oasis like we Brits do uh, and Europe as well. So uh, if you do have that connection, please do drop a comment down below and let me know what your opinion is of Oasis and your history is with Oasis. Um, but before that, uh, this is a YouTube channel it's very important to me as the uh, content creator that the channel grows and the channel can grow through you hitting that subscribe button down below if you've already hit the subscribe button I appreciate it very much thank you for supporting the channel if you haven't what are you waiting for click that subscribe button down below and help the channel grow please uh, and as I am here in Tokyo Japan I do slip into Japanese and say Toroku yoroshiku onegaishimasu Toroku shite kureta kata wa arigato gozaimasu kansho shimasu mada Toroku shite nai hito wa yoroshiku zehi Toroku onegaishimasu uh, okay, let's actually have a look at these sneakers and talk about what they're actually made of and uh, and their construct and stuff like that because it's not enough just to talk about Oasis, although I could talk about Oasis for a long time. Uh, but we actually want to look at the sneaker and talk about the materials and the construct of it. And we start off with the upper, which is a real smooth suede uh, upper. And I am um, i don't actually know how much influence uh, Liam Gallagher had in the design of the shoe or the construct of the shoe, but I do know that he's very passionate about Adidas, uh, Adidas to him, I think, is a really central brand that he um, resonates with, wears it a lot on stage, and I think he even puts it up, puts some kind of Adidas branding sometimes around his stage uh, when he's performing as well. So there's definitely a tie-up between Liam Gallagher and the Adidas brand there. Uh, but I don't know how much input he had into the shoe. But looking at it, I wouldn't be surprised if he had quite a lot. The suede, the soft suede upper um, is really nice looking, a really sort of, it's almost a peachy kind of tan color effect. Uh, but then the, the three-stripe branding and then the lace stays around the sort of lacing system there are done in a, a leather 
uh, that matches the color of the suede of the upper uh, and looks really, really good. And if you go up from that lace state area, you get the sort of really big pop of significant branding on the shoe, which is on the tongue, um, where it says, I think it says endorsed by, and then a colon and underneath a picture of Liam Gallagher's face, um, which is classic Liam Gallagher. You know, he's not known to shy away from the limelight uh, and just putting his face on a pair of shoes instead of just his name. It's, it's classic Liam Gallagher when you think about it. Be interesting to see which uh, era the picture is taken from it's hard to tell because it's sort of a monochrome picture and it's hard to tell how recent that is um but uh but yeah right there on the tongue you've got that big sort of pop of liam gallagherness uh, in his face um so which is pretty cool uh, and then if you come down a little bit from that tongue area to the mid foot sort of the the crossover between the midfoot and the heel section you've got this uh, gold foil piece of branding that matches the uh the um, the name of the sneaker as opposed to Liam Gallagher's endorsement. Uh, and then coming back a little bit, we go into the inside of the shoe. And one of the things I like about it is that the lining is actually leather on the inside. Oftentimes with shoes like this, you'll get leather suede outers. And then on the inside, you'll get a different material that's more sort of like a sock like material or fabric -y, but they've gone with a leather inner and liner on this shoe, which is something I appreciate as well. Uh, and then when we come down, I'm usually critical of gum soles, but in the case of this one, they've lightened the gum soles so that it matches uh, that suede upper and and the leather on the uh, three stripe branding and the lace stays. So I think that light gum sole uh, and the upper materials really goes well together. And then the final thing that I want to say about these guys is that they're dropping uh, in late August or early September to coincide with Liam Gallagher's new album, which I think is called Why Me? Why Not? Uh, uh, which I think I'm right in saying is the name of his new album. I might be wrong in that, but, uh, but I think it's cool that he's dropping a pair of shoes and an album at the same time. And I hope that the two of them sort of feed off each other and do pretty well. Uh, all in all, it's a pretty cool looking sneaker to me. Uh, it doesn't look too dissimilar to that power phrase that I uh, reviewed earlier this week. Um, of course, different in color and different in uh, some of the constructs, especially around about that midsole and outsole area. Uh, okay, that's enough for me today. I am dropping content every single day, which is tough to do, but because I do drop content every single day, it means that you can check me out every single day. And then when I'm finished with my videos and I appreciate you guys and thank you for watching, uh, I get to say at the end of every single one of my videos that because I drop content every single day, you're guaranteed to see me tomorrow.